All right, so uh, this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising, a weekly love and relationship tarot reading, February 10th to uh, February 16, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website as well as a link to your other video of the week which is focused purely on business and career. So as I'm Scorpio, I'm gonna talk or refer to us here. And the first card which we are gonna have in term of uh, topic for our love and relationship week, that is to be the Tree of Cups, followed by the next one, which represents the uh, energies which are supporting the topic here. It's feeding the topic. That is to be the Knight of Wands, followed by the third one, which represents the challenges that we will have to overcome and face in terms of love and relationship. That is to be the uh, Sun card. Then it is the gifts and the blessings that we can enjoy in terms of love and relationship. That is to be the Ace of Wands. Afterwards, what we have, it is uh, how people are going to take on us, what kind of impression we are going to leave into the people around us. Specifically speaking, uh, beloved ones, uh, friends and family, you know, a uh, husband or a wife, that is to be the magician. And the last one here, which stands as the guidance that Saru is offering to us in terms of love and relationship, we have the Ace of Swords. All right, so uh, uh, that will be rather on the positive end for what it seems here. So with the first two cards, uh, we can see kind of like um, uh, how our love and relationship life vitalizes in a sense of that it becomes more alive if you will. So what we do have here, Knights of so Knights of Wands, excuse me, it does point as an energy that is that we are going to seek a, how can I say, a, like different angles from how we can embark our love situations. Uh, and therefore we are to seek uh, better enterprises, if you will. And especially for those which are single among us, that, that kind of speaks itself for a more people that we are to meet, more people that we are going to get introduced into, you know, and more people that we have a chance to get ourselves interest in. And the Knights of uh, Wands, uh, it, the typical thing about that, especially energy wise, it is that whenever the Knight finds interest, uh, it is where the Knight resides. Okay, so whenever, wherever we are finding interest in, for example, we can find interest in to um, stick to old relationship and make it work, right? So that is, uh, and, and these energies are going to put into us a pressure to do whatever we can in order to do, in order to make this thing to happen. And with the three of ones, uh, the three of cups, excuse me, which is the topic of uh, the, um, of our love and relationship cycle here for throughout the week, it kind of means that our vision for the future in terms of uh, love expression, it's completely met and it's um, synchronized with the vision of the other. And that is a big chance for us to show how much we care, for example, or to show how dedicated we are, you know, or to kind of like a, uh, um, amplify the time we spend with beloved ones as well. It's, it all comes to that for us, Scorpio. It's, it comes to, to show, you know, how much once again we care and as well how much we want to be in a relationship here for throughout this week. Now, of course, if we spend the time alone at home, nothing is going to happen. So for those especially which are single with those cards, go out and have fun. I mean, show what, what you can offer to those around so those around can find interest in you and so you can find interest in them as well. Needless to say that the Tree of Cups also as a topic <coughs> excuse me, of the week, it kind of points to shared feelings and emotions as well. And under shared, I don't mean similar, okay? So you're gonna share with someone that you like or love someone else, or it's kind of like you're gonna share with each other what kind of emotions you do have to one another, but they don't have to be similar, but the vision is going to be similar. So it is like a, a cooperation to a reaching a satisfiable 
um, as a standpoint of current interactions or of a current relationship as well. Uh, one thing it's important here it is that whenever you find something interesting or someone interesting or interesting or you are interested into um, improving the circumstances in your current relationship or into your current marriage that is Scorpio you have to maintain contact meaning that you have to involve yourself in more cooperation with your beloved one with your person of interest suitor or the person you know or your wife or husband you know and etc etc now oops now next card here what we have it is the challenges that you will have to over overcome and that will be the uh, sun card. So when we talk about love and relationships, sun card comes to like burying the arguments down. It's like those arguments should not be there any longer. Therefore, as a challenge, that card only points into digging and reopening old wounds that have been inflicted upon your current marriage, for example, upon your current relationship, say, you know, or in between or disappointment say in between you and your person of interest so how you overcome that challenge you don't look at those previous disappointments and wounds inflicted they don't see you okay it's just like they never happen you have to act like these things never happened it's like they are in the past nothing can do nothing can be done about them and it is like starting uh from now on it's like you are just introducing uh, each each other to 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 each other all right it's like so don't seek a point of conflict to fix it but just ignore the points of conflict that is the way how you manifest the sun card uh the, from another standpoint as well it will be challenging for us to kind of have patience because the sun needs to unfold naturally you can't force the sun to go through the sky it it has its pace it it has its pace all right so you have to be patient that uh, thing in between you and your um, uh, say person of interest or in between you and your partner in life to unfold itself naturally while simultaneously you are presenting content while you're showing uh, uh, vitalized energies that you are looking forward to what is to come for both of you. Uh, next one, it will be about the gifts and the blessings that we are to enjoy Scorpio in terms of love and relationships throughout this week. And that is mainly for those which are completely single. That card kind of says gaining full enterprise is just what it is, you know, either career or either relationship wise. It says it that way. Gaining full enterprise to those which are single um, of us. OK, we can expect to get introduced to someone to have an interest into someone. Now, how this is to unfold? Is this going to go into relationship or is it going to crumble into into ruin? Well, that depends on how we are to play our cards. But definitely uh, and an excitement it is what is gifted to us for throughout the week. Now, one thing here for the Ace of Wands, it is that uh, it's kind of going to throw us into the um, fields of the unknown what i mean it is that it will be a completely new experience for ourselves it's like we're never gonna we haven't felt like that before and therefore uh we may be a bit more prone to do stupid things uh, because we're just learning of how to tackle with that kind of an individual or with such kind of an enterprise as well so we can expect a little bit of a creative chaos around and we have to face it um, you know, not too serious or we haven't, we should not be way too serious about it. Just take it like a two teenagers are kind of like playing a, a game in between them. Uh, next one here, it is in term of how people are going to see us and how people are going to take on us. That is the magician card. What kind of an impression we are going to leave into the people around. And that is very strong one, guys. It kind of the impression we are leaving into the people and uh, into the into the people around. It is that we are who we are. You either take it or you either leave it. OK, so we are going to show there that we do have a sovereignty. We are going to show that we are a person and not a thing. OK, so we are unique and there is none like us elsewhere. Now, is this something that the other person seek? Is this something that suits them? Well, that is up to them to decide. But we are not going to change just because someone doesn't find us. I 
very compatible with them okay so once again that impression it is that either you take it or you leave it's um it's like this now additionally to that um the other impression that we're going to make into people is that we are very communicative um com communicative communicative okay with uh, with everybody around and we are uh, willing to understand what kind of a, a situation they're finding themselves at and especially if uh, the things are like you know i like you but right now i can't be with you instead of um, we kind of like uh, uh, slamming the door in front of their face we are to opt to understand why and is there a, a, a reason or a, a point for us waiting for them to have the um the necessary circumstances when they can be with us so that itself it kind of points that yes patience may be a challenge but it is not something that it will be that big of a challenge for us and the last one here it stands as the guidance that Taro is offering in terms of love and relationship and that is the ace of swords an ace of swords is always in love and relationship and not just only in that into career as well it is that we have to say it out it kind of like um spill the beam right uh, it's like he uh cut it to the chase be honest about what your situation is what your expectations are and how you see yourself into the future with this person or without this person as well so it's like displaying the accurate diagnosis of your own standpoints into the midst of enterprise that you are to find yourself with throughout the week say you are to you are in a process of reconciliation with a um, ex of yours but something is kind of troubling you from within that it is repeating itself and it's a bad thing well you have to talk about it so silent treatment is not something that is going to work in our favor throughout this week in terms of love and relationship and we just have to display our needs we have to display our goals in terms of love and relationship we have to say everything around and uh, this card itself kind of points that we should not step back in the sense of that we need to show strength in spirit and also a strength in a um, or and also amplified mental strength as well meaning that we should not allow to be intimidated meaning that we should be which we, we should not allow to be persuaded once again they either take it or they either leave so that being said scorpio this was our weekly love and relationship tarot reading february 10th to february 16 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website and as well a link to your other video of the week which is focused on business and career that being said hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then Bye.